All right, welcome back. Our next video, or this video, is going to be about using the bandsaw to cut out your legs. I've already drawn both of these out for both legs, so uh, we're ready to go over there. But first, we should lay out some lines for our relief cuts. If you remember from the safety video, the relief cuts were those small cuts we were supposed to make periodically, so we never had to worry about backing out of a cut longer than two inches. You can't back out of a cut longer than two inches because we talked about how that can derail the blade, uh, similar to like a bike chain on a, on a bicycle, that derailer that can take the chain off the sprocket. We don't want that to happen to our uh, bandsaw blade, so we don't want to back out of those cuts. So um, to prevent that, we'll have a series of relief cuts that'll chip away as we go, and then that way we don't have to worry about it. So uh, let's lay those lines out first, just so things go faster over there by the bandsaws, because that typically is kind of a choke point where a lot of kids are trying to get through, and by having this all planned out first, you're gonna get through there a lot faster. So uh, here is where I would make my relief cuts, uh, or the lines that I, I'd kind of, to make my life easier. And I'll, I'll try to draw them a little lighter so I know they're relief cuts and not my real lines. I hope you can still see them. You know, so I'm trying to be able to tell the difference between the two. Um, you know, this line turned out to be, let's see, a little over four inches. So, you know, you need a, a relief cut about every two. You know, so to be honest, that's probably two lines here. That's probably sufficient. Okay. Um, I'm going to make a cut here. Uh, you can see there, because then if I make a cut here, this piece will actually chip out and get out of my way. So that line there is going to be really handy for me to reference so I don't have to try to eyeball that inch uh, step from that point to that point. So uh, we'll do the same over here quick. Uh, I can, if I want to be accurate, I can use a straight edge again. Just making it light, just so I, I, I know the difference when I'm over there. And then I don't have to be super scientific about this. That's plenty uh, of distance between the two. Okay, definitely not gonna have to worry about longer than two inch cuts there. Now this one, a little tricky because you can't just make one cut here and back out and call that a relief cut because that from this distance to that point is two and a half inches. So this relief cut would be so deep, I couldn't back out of my own relief cut. So I'd have a problem. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go, well, two inches is about there, so I could back out of that, but since I know I can't get there, I'm gonna play it safe. I'll go a little shorter than two. So that'll be a cut. Um, and then let's see, I can't make one longer than two. So if I use my ruler as a guide, yeah, I could cut from, from here to there and still stay under two, okay. So something like that. I mean, it's, again, I'm not being super scientific here, it's just, relief cuts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this less than two back out. I'm going to make this cut. I'm going to make this cut. And then this piece chips out. And now I can make relief cut, relief cut, relief cut. And now again, this cut, which is also longer than two and a half, I'll have a relief cuts and this cut longer than two and a half relief cuts. And that'll make that. So uh, again, I'll try to give you a good look at how I would approach it. Again, there's other, there's a lot of different ways to do it, which is fine. Uh, but that's just kind of how I would approach this problem of relief cuts. So let's bring this over to the bandsaw. I guess I better bring my camera to make sure I can, you guys are seeing what I'm seeing. Uh, either one is fine. Just, uh, they'll probably, like I said, be a line or some congestion. Looks like this one's a little more set up. Uh, you know, the, we talked about this in class, how the, that gap should be about a quarter of an inch. So that, you know, about the thickness of your pinky right there. So again, hopefully you can see that. There you go. <laughs> okay, so that looks set up good. Uh, blade looks like it's, it's going well. Uh, again, we'll, we'll first turn it on, make sure everything sounds good, the light turns on. Seems to be going pretty well. Uh, quiet, it's not chattering, everything seems to be tracking nice. Okay, so we'll start here. And a couple safety things, two inch margin of safety. Ooh, hopefully you can. That, uh, it's pretty bright. Maybe I'll turn the light off, maybe that'll help. There, that's better for the camera. Okay, so uh, two inch margin of safety. 
Never have your fingers in line with the blade. If your hand slips, you wanna be okay. So we're definitely not gonna put our hands there. Okay, so I'm probably gonna try to just keep my hands on the outsides here. Now cut. I'll, I'll stop there just to kind of let you see. I'm cutting right to the edge of my pencil line, but I'm not cutting on the pencil. Oop, sorry. So I'm not cutting on the pencil line. I'm cutting right to the edge of it. Okay, that's important. Again, that was a two inch cut, so we could back out of that. Oops. Okay. Uh, now this is where that extra little faint line I made is going to come in handy to help line this cut up. Okay. Um, to keep your hands out of there, we'll try to have some push sticks handy. So again, two inch margin of safety. Don't stick your fingers in there. So we'll keep that handy. Now it's safe to grab. Uh, there should be a barrel near here for wood scrap there we go okay now we can make these relief cuts try not to cut to the real pencil line so we can get a look at that so again really close to the pencil line but not actually through it and now I really recommend cutting this way. Now that you got that notch, this is gonna cut really easy. Try not to cut this way because that's a really shallow angle to the, you know, to where your line is. It's not gonna wanna do it. The blade's gonna wanna, it's gonna wanna flex and not uh, cut into the wood. So this one is, is darn near cutting straight into wood. So this one will cut a lot nicer. So again, right on the edge of your pencil line. You saw the pieces chip away as I cut, which was great, because in the event I, I started cutting into my project or I got nervous or you know, something was not cutting well, um, I could have backed out if I had to. Now I did err on the side of caution a little bit and it kind of, it wasn't perfectly straight, which bandsaws typically don't cut perfectly straight, but uh, I did not cut through my pencil lines uh, I did not, you know, the relief cuts aren't cutting into this. So this needs a little bit of sanding, but it's not bad. Uh, it's a little weight. There's a little bit. It's kind of hard to see in the video. But there's a little bit of wave there, but that's not bad. We'll use that sanding block and some 80 grit sandpaper and we'll sand that down. So let's uh, keep using the push stick, keep things safe. Keep cutting here. Let's be careful. All that reaching around, that that bandsaw blade's still spinning. Keep those fingers not in line with the blade. Someone could probably make a highlight reel of me making mistakes here and there. I'll try to do my best. Okay, so we made those. Now we can make those deeper relief cuts. There we go. Now we're ready to make our final. turned it off with my knee there so uh, you could hear me a little bit um, not bad I was a little off here but again uh, that can sand you can sand that off uh, you can go back if you want to try to shave a little more off if you think that's gonna take a lot of time sanding which it might uh, this is technically end grain which does take more time to sand so um, up to you if you want to go back but you know you kind of sometimes got to weigh the risk and reward what are your odds of making it worse versus 
uh, better, you might just want to see it. So a uh, couple more here to do. We'll just finish this up quick. Careful on that blade. Try not to get in a hurry. I'm kind of cutting faster than you probably should. That's it. Okay, not bad. A uh, little bit of pencil marks here, but again, those are what you're gonna wanna sand to. Uh, once you are done, if there are any left, you just, you know, take a little bit of 80 grit sand with the grain and just clean that up. Uh, you, you obviously have one more to make. I'm going to cut the video off here and I'll show you what to do with the next step once you have both your legs cut like this on the bandsaw and sanded. So yeah, make sure you, I'll, I'll skip that step, but you know what to do. Just make sure you sand that smooth.